Hi guys, um, I just wanted to show you how I do my planning. Um, it's um, cloudy outside, so it's nothing, uh, can't do anything. I haven't got anything connected either. Uh, so this is just about the planning. Um, what I, uh, what you can do is uh, go to the Sky Atlas and uh, for instance, if you want to find M31, you can just type that in and uh, it'll find it for you. Uh, it shows you all the other names for it. Um, I've already uh, started on uh, the Heart Nebula, um, but I can't actually go on with it because it's uh, cloudy. Uh, but I just wanted to show you how I uh, planned for it. Um, so if you uh, find the Heart Nebula, hope it finds it of course it doesn't uh, but I can also use lot 15 okay so it's uh, it's found that that's actually the hard nebula it's IC uh, 1805 um, it shows you a little um, picture of it uh, this is also interesting uh, because it shows you what uh, what it's doing during the night um, of course, this uh, the, um, this is when the, when the sun goes down, and here it starts to be really dark, and uh, so I've got from yeah, half past uh, seven till around about half past seven. Uh, uh, if it was actually not cloudy, if it was, <laughs> but um, of course it's uh, it's cloudy, so it's, I can't do anything. Um, but um, the point here at the, at the top, it shows um, that's when it will do a meridian flip. Uh, so you can actually uh, see if that's going to happen and you can plan for it. Um, like if I would start now, uh, I wouldn't have any um, trouble with a meridian flip. Of course, I'm using Nina, so that I don't have trouble with that anyway. Um, but uh, it's it's good to know if you're planning uh, ahead of time. Um, so what we can do um, is set it for the framing assistant, um, and here it loads the image. Uh, you can zoom out. Uh, I have the field of view set fairly big. Uh, I set it to five degrees. So it's, it takes a big uh, um, part of the, the sky survey. Um, and as you can see, I've got, um, yeah, I could uh, get the fish head <laughs> or parts of it, um, but I can't get the whole thing uh, in my setup. Um, I've got a, a mid eight inch uh, Smith Newtonian, uh, which is uh, it's a really nice scope, um, but it's not very um, it's not a wide field. It's uh, a focal length of uh, seven fifty around, or is it eight fifty? I forget. Uh, oh, eight eight fifty seven here. Um, so uh, I've got my camera uh, width and height and uh, pixel size in here and uh, the focal length um, so it gives you uh, a nice uh, field of view um, for your camera for your uh, setup um, of course this is also just uh, um, just uh, straight um, what i have to do is find out my rotation you can actually rotate it uh, whatever you, way you want um, but I have uh, my setup is quite uh, standard. Uh, I don't take it out. Uh, I don't take the camera off every uh, evening, so it's uh, I know I could just load an uh, an image of myself, um, and I can actually do that here, and then find out um, for that image, uh, find out um, what uh, what the rotation is of my camera. So if I take uh, a file, say load image, um, right, these are a couple of um, 
charts I took uh, the other night. Um, so if I load that image, it has to be solved. Uh, right, so it, it is uh, part of the heart nebula anyway, so I'll take these as uh, reference co coordinates. I say yes. Oh, I've still got a two plate solve here. That's okay. Um, for my own setup, I use a uh, AS tab, uh, AS tab. Don't know what how you call it. Um, uh, that worked really fast, uh, but I, I don't have that on this computer. Um, not yet, anyway. Right, it's found it. Okay, so it's um, yeah. This is actually the fishhead nebula. Uh, it's a little, it's not a very good picture, um, but this is O3 and it's not it's coming through too, uh, too well. Um, but anyway, um, this is my field of view, so it's 1.1 degree, uh, and it's got the, um, uh, the, the RA and deck uh, in here. Um, but what I'm interested in is the rotation, and it says here it's got a rotation of 267 um, degrees. Uh, so this is actually what I was looking for. And if I now go back to uh, cache and go back to the, my lot 15, um, okay, load image right here. Um, now I can set my rotation because I know uh, uh, I had it set. Uh, uh, I found out by the other image, and this is um, this was going to be my rotation. So here I can actually see how far um, how, what I'm going to get when I take a picture. Um, anyway. What I wanted to do is get the whole heart nebula. So what we can do here is um, add a panel. Okay, so that's, that's just about uh, uh, wide enough. And then add two more uh, vertical panels. So in total, it'll be six panel panels. And uh, this is how I can actually capture um, the heart nebula uh, with some overlapping and uh, stuff. I can then say, okay, I want to um, uh, replace as a sequence. And it will take the default um, settings I've just uh, used and it will use that for every panel here. Um, so I'll, I'll take 15 um, images of uh, O3, HA and S2 uh, of every panel. And um, as you can see, it also changes the target a little bit because it's a slightly different position. Um, but this is um, this is why I uh, definitely like Nina. Um, in the latest version, I'm running the nightly uh, 36 now. Uh, you can actually save uh, all the targets, uh, so the whole the whole sequence uh, as a set. That's um, that's about it. Um, yeah, uh, I can't do much uh, anything else. So. Um, yeah, I'll have to wait till, uh, till the skies are clear. Anyway, that's what I wanted to tell you um, uh, just for now. And yeah, clear skies everyone.